Welcome back troglodytes to Would You Rock or Not? Now as a general rule of thumb, whenever you refinish a guitar, it is going to be devalued anywhere between 30 to 50 percent. And the reason for that is because you're destroying the originality of the instrument and it raises suspicions of why did you refinish that guitar? But every once in a while, there's some outliers in the data where a refinish actually makes a guitar way more attractive and slightly more valuable. I documented a green SG about four months ago that I actually ended up buying after the Rock or Not episode. And this was an example of a well refinished guitar. It was unique, it had something special to it, and that's why I thought it was worth buying and doing a full review on. Today, somebody has taken a Les Paul Menace and made it the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. If I was in the market for a really cool Les Paul, this would be a serious contender. Now, a Les Paul Menace is not necessarily the most well-loved series that Gibson has ever made. This is what this guitar used to initially look like. This is a model that's kind of like a Les Paul Studio, but kind of even stripped down a little bit more, and it had special colored pickups. Now, this was supposed to be a bare bones rocker guitar. The only inlay it had was a brass knuckles on the fifth fret, and they had a 490R, 498T pickup combo with the brass colored wiring showing. But something else that is also interesting with the Mena series is these gashes in the guitar. You can see it right below the tailpiece as well as below the toggle switch. If that wasn't enough, it also follows around the side of the guitar. I think that's something that a lot of people just don't know or maybe for some reason they don't like it. I think that's a really cool feature. Personally, the only thing about this guitar that I didn't like is it's just a pure black finish. So somebody took it and made it a green burst and I absolutely love them for it. They added gold hardware, they just made this thing look absolutely beautiful. So beautiful, yes I did try to buy this one. They're asking 1100 bucks and honestly they're gonna get that within a week. But in an attempt to get it I offered 750 because I felt that was a fair value. All things considered, recent sales of a Les Paul Menace, there was another refinished one in red that went for 400 bucks and was then parted out as a husk for about the same amount. And the only other one on the market right now has been for sale a while and the starting bid on that one is $8.99. And honestly, I don't even think they're going to quite get that. The Les Paul Menace, I usually see them sell around the 700 to 800 mark. So besides a sweet refinish job, they added DiMarzio pickups. You have a Super 2 in the neck and a Super Distortion in the bridge. And since this model originally did not have binding, they scraped away some of the finish to make it look like it does. And that adds a whole nother level to this guitar. That's a very popular modification that people like to do on studio level guitars because it makes them look higher end than they are. It was also upgraded with Spurzel locking tuners, so you've got great tuning stability there. And they just left the single brass knuckles fret inlay. I think that's kind of cool. I like that inlay. I didn't realize it was made out of brass until this seller's listing. I really think the gouges in the guitar look great when they're finished in something that's not a flat black. Another little detail that I love that they did is the saddles right here, the Graph Tech ones. The black color really complements the finish as well. Something I'm a little bit sad that they didn't do was maybe refinish the back to get rid of some of the wear and tear that was previously on the guitar because the back no longer matches the front condition wise. However, if they would have refinished the back, I would be suspect of a headstock break. So maybe it's a good thing they didn't. The seller's even including a very nice Les Paul case. This is the limited edition 2015 hard shell case. So the only thing left to discuss about the Menace is they have kind of an ugly Gibson headstock logo. It just looks like one of those mom tattoos that's, you know, stereotypical in a cartoon. But instead of mom, it says Gibson and it has a spider web. That's something that turns a lot of people off from the Menace series, and I've personally never actually tried one, 
but this is definitely one I wish I could have got my hands on. These feature a maple top with a mahogany back and an ebony fretboard. So let's go ahead and hear how this guitar would have sounded stock. The only question left, would you rock the refinished Menace or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below, and regardless of how you feel about this instrument, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.